shot that is uh, sponsored by a friend of ours. We are working with our hands on the latest fleet of Geza Josie e trike Since we've been sitting here, we've had about three or four trolley recyclers move by. These guys work exceptionally hard and they do a great service. And unfortunately, they aren't supported yet by government and society. These individuals for me are a great inspiration. They have a great entrepreneurial spirit and they just need a leg up. We're currently working on the second version of the Geza Josie e-trike, which is very similar. We have a 500 watt motor, we have motorcycle style disc brakes and we still have the interesting hooter. What we have changed is we've changed the battery capacity. So we've built a compartment within the box that houses a secondary battery unit. At the moment, we're just making sure that the wiring is working, that the back tree is up to scratch, and tightening the last few nuts and bolts. It's been about a year since I started working on the project, and it's fantastic to see where it's, it's gotten to. It's not uh, a total surprise. It's planned. I'd always wanted to be here and it's worked out perfectly. There have been a lot of people and organizations along the way that have made this possible. I'd say probably the biggest contributors at present have come from the University of Joburg, Resolution Circle and the City of Joburg, who through the Green City startup connected me with some good people. What we are trying to do is to change the system that they use. And we're hoping that through this initiative, not only will we make it easier for them to transport their waste, but we're hoping that this vehicle and the transformation of these guys can become a motivating factor for households. In 2030, we are running out of landfill space. And it's our duty to reduce the amount of waste that is going to landfill. And these individuals are going to make it happen.